Hello everybody, I'm Star Raptor. Welcome to my spoiler-free TV review of Preacher Season 1. Now, Preacher is actually based off a graphic novel series of the same name created by Garth Ennis and Steve Dillon. So getting into the plot without giving too much away, Preacher is basically about a preacher named Jesse Custer that lives in this very small town in Texas called Anvil. One day he's standing up giving a congregation at his church and next thing you know, a spirit gets inside of him and gives him the power to basically manipulate people um, just by using his voice. And basically the story revolves around him trying to uncover the mystery of what exactly the spirit is, where did it come from, and along the way he meets two people that become his friends. One of them, her name's Tulip, and she's played by Ruth Nega, and another one is Cassidy, and he's played by Joseph Gilgan. And yeah, these guys, they band together, and it's a very uh, local, you know, focus story in his very first season. We already know we're getting a second season of it, of just like the community and how they kind of react to the preacher and what influence he has on everything. And um, so basically getting into what I enjoyed, my positives about the season is first off, there's really great dark, twisted humor in this TV series, and most of it comes from, as I mentioned before, the character of Cassidy, who is an Irishman, and half the time you can't understand what he's saying, but it's just funny, very, very funny in a gory kind of way, because there's a lot of uh, violence in this, as I'll mention later, um, but yeah, just a lot of wacky stuff going on, and it's very reminiscent of the graphic novel, which kind of has the same vibe going on with it. Uh, another thing I really enjoyed with this show is it sets itself up apart from anything else out there on TV. Its plot is centered around heaven and hell. Now, that's not a very common thing that our TV is based off these days. You know, we have a deluge of zombies and comic book heroes, but no, this is uh, way out there in left field. A uh, really different kind of feeling for sure when you're dealing with angels and entities from hell and even vampires. Uh, it's just really far-fetched and out there, but that's what makes this show so unique. Um, another thing I really enjoyed is how faithful to the graphic novel this series is, but it also pushes boundaries, and basically it's like a prequel kind of to the graphic novel. Well, the graphic novel kind of takes off and goes really fast after Preacher gets his power, whereas this season is more focused on, as I mentioned before, him getting the power and kind of seeing how the community is, you know, reacting to him and it just builds up like the emotional attachment to a lot of these characters in this in this town of Anvil, Texas. And finally, what I really enjoyed about this season of Preacher is the unique action sequences. So we have fights in airplanes, we have fights in cars, we have fights that involve chainsaws, and we have really epic fights in hotels. Again, I don't want to spoil anything. Um, but that was what I really enjoyed about this season one of Preacher. Now, moving on to my negatives of the show. Um, you know, there's a lot of great action sequences, but I feel like they are far and few between, and that kind of hurt the pacing, in my opinion. Um, you know, the middle kind of episodes, it's a 10-episode season, but the mid middle episodes were a little bit slower sometimes, and there wasn't that big, like, oomph, you know, to it that was like, oh, wow, like, big plot. Um, turnarounds or anything like that, 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 you know, there was some here and there, um, but, you know, I would have liked to see more consistency um, to keep me really engaged. And one final thing I want to say about what I didn't like too much about this season uh, was some of the actions of the characters didn't seem to be very justified from, you know, who they were as people. Like, I again, I can't get into it. Um, but there's just like some things I was like, why would that person do that there? Like it just didn't make sense to me and they kind of just never came back to it, which kind of, you know, I'm being very vague, but yes. Um, so besides the negatives though, like this show is great. You guys got to give it a shot. Like I said, there's nothing out there on television that's quite like it. Um, uh, and now that this season is done now, this is going to basically be what the graphic novel was about. Um, we just kind of caught up at the end, and now they're going to move forward from there. But great acting in this in this series, and I can't wait for 
Season 2. You guys can also check out my review of uh, Volume 1 of Preacher right over there, so be sure to check that out. So what did you guys think of Preacher Season 1? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and bye bye Did you enjoy this video? Then make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up symbol. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Subscribing to my channel will help me out and it helps you guys out keeping up to speed on all my latest content. Speaking of which, you can catch my weekly Star Wars show down over there. You can see a recent review I've done over there. And you can follow me on social media, Twitter, at Star Raptor, as well as Facebook.com slash Star Raptor.